Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another dinosaur plush tutorial. This time by popular demand, we are going to be sewing this adorable T-Rex plush. To start off by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone had a safe and happy holiday season. And I wanted to first jump into the fact that I've been away from YouTube for a little while now. The reason I've been away is because I am now a new mom to triplets. I'd like you to meet Isaac, Elise, and Eric. They are adorable and I absolutely love them. So they are taking up a lot of my time. I also have another YouTube channel where I've been uploading videos of the family, so if you wanna go check that out, I will leave a link in the description down below. No promises on uploading consistently to that channel though because my life is literally like a sitcom and everything is constantly just chaos. Also, wish me luck on trying to find a quiet place to record my video voiceovers now. That's really all the updates I have for now. Here are all the materials you will need to sew this project. I have two different colored fabrics. I'm using teal for the body color and white for the belly piece. The fabric I'm using is called Minky and the brand I buy is Shannon Fabrics. Another common fabric used to make plushies is fleece or sometimes felt, which is a lot cheaper than Minky if you're sewing on a budget. I have pins, fabric scissors, a pen to trace my pattern onto the fabric, a hand stitching needle and matching thread, polyfill stuffing. I have my felt pieces cut out already for the eyes and teeth. And I'll also be using white puff fabric paint as well as my sewing machine. You can sew this plush by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. I also have my pattern here that I created for this plush. If you'd like to follow along, you can download it for free using the link in the video description. All of my patterns are free to access and you should not need to request access to the file. If you're having trouble, try a different email address. Okay, I've already cut out my pattern pieces and I'm going to trace these onto the wrong side of my fabric and then cut out my fabric pieces. You should have two body pieces that mirror each other and one belly piece. I'm going to set the belly piece aside for now and work with the main body pieces. With your fabric facing right sides together, you are going to pin the plush in place from the bottom of the jaw to the end of the tail. We are going to sew a line just like this. When you are sewing around curves or changing angles, it helps to lower your sewing needle, lift the presser foot, and turn the fabric. You'll see me do this quite a few times while I'm sewing this. The next step in this project is to sew the darts located on the belly piece. You are going to fold the leg over like this, and then sew along the curved line. Repeat this step for the other side, leaving long thread tails on either side of the dart while you're sewing. You are going to take those long threads and tie a knot to secure the stitches in place. Now we are going to attach the belly piece to the main body. I'm going to start by pinning the back leg to the tail. To start, you are going to sew it together just like this. Next, we are going to sew from the other side of the tail 
along the back leg and then all the way up to the front arm and underneath the chin. You're going to sew a line that looks just like this. Our next stitch on the machine is going to finish sewing from the other side of the neck and then around the other arm. You'll see that we've left a small hole in the side of the plush, that way we can flip it right side out later on. But first we are going to cut away the extra seam allowance, being very careful not to cut through your stitches. Bulky seam allowance will interfere with the shape of the plush and it won't allow the seams to lay flat when you start adding your stuffing. So take your time with this step and again, be very, very careful not to cut through your stitches. Through the hole that we left on the side of the plush, you're going to flip it right side out. I'm using my scissors to push out some of the legs and the tail. You can use scraps or polyfill stuffing to fill the plush. I'm going to be using polyfill. I like to start with the tail and the head and work my way towards the legs and then towards the opening. Just keep adding stuffing until you're happy with the shape and feel of your plush. I will say if you add too much stuffing to the front, it will be difficult for your plush to stand up because he will get very front heavy. Once you're happy with the shape, you will close up the hole in the side using a ladder stitch or invisible stitch. This involves stitching parallel to the opening, then crossing over to the other side and doing another parallel stitch. Keep repeating this until you get to the end of the opening and then pull the threads tight to close the hole. I then tie a quick knot at the end to hold the stitches in place. If you want your T-Rex to look particularly fierce, you could also use felt or fabric paint to create little teeth. I have optional teeth included on this pattern, which I've already cut out here and I'm going to pin them in place and then use an applique whip stitch along the top to attach them to the plush. You can also hot glue the teeth on if you'd like. Now we are going to focus on giving this guy some eyes. I'm using pre-cut felt circles for this. If you can cut out a perfect circle, go for it, but I am not that skilled, so I purchased some pre-cut shapes off of Etsy, which are a lifesaver for me. I always pin the felt in place first to make sure I like the position of the eyes, and then I sew them on with an applique whip stitch. Again, you could use hot glue for this. If you've seen my previous dinosaur plush videos, you know how I feel about these lifeless black eyes. He has no spirit for the hunt, no desire to go on, just cold, dark, black holes. Luckily, a little dot of Scribbles Puff fabric paint will make this little guy's day. You'll want to set your plush aside for a few hours and give that paint a little bit of time to dry. And with that, your plush is done. He's ready to roam the hillside, hunt through the trees, and attempt to reach his dreams with those stubby little arms. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed this video. The next stuffed animal on my list is a Nessie or Loch Ness monster. So be sure to tune in for that soon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!